The community is coming together in a variety of ways to show support for the victims' families and the health care workers at St. Francis. 2 News Oklahoma's Shay Smith spoke to people who are offering prayers for those who need them most. Shay? A group of people from South Tulsa and Bixby gathered today at St. Francis to pray. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. On social media, Rhonda Clinton asking a simple request from her neighbors to join her at St. Francis for prayer. On Facebook, somebody put Circle Tulsa and, and people were putting, you know, praying for it, let's pray. And I'm like, let's not just pray. Let's not just use our lips. Let's actually do it. Some came and did just that. As believers of, of Christ in our community, we want to do the same. We want to be here for uh, the employees that are working here that all of the daily tasks and the things they have to do, they continue. The, the care still needs to be provided. So as a spiritual support, we want to be here for them. Pastor Mark Simpson says he has one message for those impacted by Wednesday's shooting. We want to send a message of love to them, that we love them, that we care for them, that we want peace to start to come out of this whole situation, that as, as believers in Jesus, that we have faith and that faith allows us to be able to be there for someone that we don't even know. Simpson says he hopes nurses, doctors, and patients see them coming together in solidarity. Just to have people that they don't even know that's there to care for them, support them, and pray for them, I think it's an encouragement, and we want to do that for them. Clinton and Simpson both tell me that they do believe people coming together during a tragedy like this one can help each other cope. Live in Tulsa, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.